So everything in the tent is right here and right here, and that's it. There's nothing else to it, which is uh, pretty awesome because the setup is super simple. Now, in uh, Phoenix, probably burn the heck out of yourself up here. And then if you can see, we've got these braces here and here on the uh, L-Track there. And that's what holds it. So everything is just a quick unfolding. Kind of like a trifold tonneau cover. That's a really good uh, comparison, yeah. So we've got four of these valves and they've got a one-way and a fully open. So that way you can pump up from any four of the locations. But uh, makes it easy to both inflate and deflate. And then we just have an air pump. Kind of like a bicycle pump, but it's a, uh, it's a dual valve. So every time you move the handle up or down, it's pushing air. And then about this point, we just uh, make sure everything gets lined up right. All right, and then literally once you're at this point, there's these two straps and clamps, and then there's one on the side of both on the front, and you're done. And now you go to sleep. So we're gonna open some windows in here to prove that this can be a camper with some daylight. Oh, look at this. Very nice. Now, you gotta admit, does this make you wanna go camping? Totally, yes. It's got big tires. We can get out into, uh, you know, remote places, dirt roads, stuff like that. It would be cooler than to be out in the wild like this in a cyber truck. Well, and with your cyber truck, you can actually get to some of those really cool places. Yeah. And then set up camp, and you're good to go, just like this. And then Pete's gonna snuggle with me in here, right? Is that what we're doing? <laughs> we're, we're gonna snuggle in the back here now, guys. <laughs> I like it a lot. And then in five more minutes, you can actually set up the awning that comes out here, which is really nice. Yeah. I'm in the shady spot. We can go over into the mortar cup and hit. We have some shade. So I'd like to thank Justin for coming here, bringing his cyber truck. We're in EV Preserve, which is a Tessa Roadster exotic car storage facility. And the cyber truck, it turns out, feels right at home here, does it not? It does, but it has to actually go home. Sorry. It does indeed, yes. So again, thank you for joining us on our Roadster podcast. And uh, anytime you swing through here, we'd love to have you. Thanks for letting me uh, come in unexpected. Appreciate it. See you guys next time.